Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well or welcome to my channel. If you've just come across this video, then I really hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please remember to hit the subscribe button and give this video a little thumbs up. So I've just got home from work. It is a Friday evening and let me tell you, I'm so tired, guys. I've had a very long, long, long week. So this is like really overdue, like a nice pamper evening. So I thought I'd film it. Put your dressing gown on, let's get cosy, let's all have a pamper evening together, you know, nice cosy vibes. Unfortunately, because I have a rabbit, I mean, if you're new to my channel, then you won't know, but I have a little rabbit called Dolly. Let me go and get her, actually. Oh, she was right here. Dolly, I didn't even see you. Come on, baby. Everyone wants to see you. Oh, this is my baby doll. She's not going to stay here for long because she doesn't like to be cuddled that much. But... I know everyone that is on my channel does like, who's a rabbit lover, does like to see baby dolls sometimes. So, what's wrong? All right, all right, all right. See, guys, she doesn't stay for too long. But what I was trying to say was because I have a rabbit, I'm not allowed anymore to like light candles that are unscented. No, that are scented. Um, or I can't put on like any warmers or anything like that because um, they're quite damaging for rabbit's respiratory system. That's fine, okay, we're not gonna do that, which is a bit of a shame because I do love to have my candles on, very cozy. But I will be finding some unscented burners and some unscented candles so I can still have cozy vibes without the scent. But anyways, the first thing that we're gonna do is take off all of our makeup. To be honest, I actually don't even have hardly any makeup on because I'm so lazy. Lockdown has made me so lazy. I can't even use lockdown as an excuse anymore because it was so long ago, but that genuinely is what it is why I've become so lazy. I only wear mascara and I literally just fill in my eyebrows. This is why I just look so scruffy. But I'm making an effort from this. This is my last week of being lazy. From moving forward, I'm gonna start putting my foundation on again and I'm gonna start straightening my hair because I genuinely go to work looking so like unacceptable. I've just been so busy guys. Like if I'm not at work, then I'm at the gym. If I'm not at the gym, then I'm doing my course my PT calls, if I'm not doing that, then I'm with Dolly, if I'm not with that, I'm with my boyfriend, I'm always just doing something, like I just, or with my friends, or with my family, I genuinely don't ever have time for myself, so I'm starting, I'm learning, I need to make time for myself, I need to just breathe, is what I need to do, I need to chill out, I'm getting so irate about everything, right, first thing does I'm take my makeup off, so I'm going to just use my cellar water as the first step, don't worry, that's not what I use, this is like a huge bottle, I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but it's 730 mils and then i'm gonna use my lumi which i swear i've got my lumi so many times but it's my best friend okay when it comes to skincare if i had like foundation on or like more makeup i would use this which is the body shop chamomile cleansing butter it is so good i think it's about 11 pounds and you get so much product you last for ages pampanite screams face masks okay so i haven't done a face guys i've not done a face mask in about two weeks which is really not like me like i said i've been feeling very run down feeling very busy but this is a face mask i'm going to use today i have spoke about this before it is genuinely so so good and you get so much it's going to last me for ages <laughs> is on i tell you there is nothing like a face mask it just feels so nice don't it so relaxing anyways face mask is on i love this face mask you can literally see it working which is what i love about it um but yeah i keep this on for about 15 minutes what i'm gonna do is wait for the face mask to go all like this this color and then once it has gone all completely light green i spray the new skin moisture mist on it um on my face and it basically reactivates the mask which means you get two uses out of one application and then part of a evening pamper routine obviously involves nails i mean unless you get your nails done i used to always get my nails done it was only until about a month ago that i actually stopped i used to always get gels never acrylics but always gels but I don't know what it is, I just feel like they look really nice for like a week or 10 days and then they start to grow out and then they just don't look really nice anymore. So I've decided that I actually want to do my own nails. So the company Madam Glam New York very kindly reached out to me and asked if they could send me 
my very own gel kit which i'm so excited about and um, it arrived today and i've not opened it yet so i thought i'd open it in this video because it all makes sense to do a pamper routine and then obviously do your nails um they also have kindly given me a discount code which i will put in my description which will get you 30 percent off of your purchase which is really really good um but yeah i'm gonna open the box and then we can talk about what's inside Okay, before we talk about what's inside the box, I'm just going to quickly spritz over my face again because it's pretty much all dry apart from that part. Just let that reactivate. Um, but yeah, so inside the box, you get... So you get your lamp. The lamp is a lot smaller than um, your usual sort of gel lamp. It's a UV LED lamp. It's a lot smaller. <laughs> It looks like this. To be fair, I actually used to own um, my own gel lamp previously, about three, four, three, four years ago. And I always used to say, oh, this takes up so much space. So maybe a smaller one would be a little bit more practical. I don't know. I mean, we shall see. I'm going to use it, obviously, see how we get on. And then along with the little mini lamp, you also get the wire, which I'm guessing obviously connects and then will allow the lamp to switch on. And then let's talk about the colours. So they kindly gave me three colours as well as the top and base coat, which is really, really nice of them. So thank you very much, Madam Glam. Um, so you get, and then really big bottles as well. So you get the base coat, the top coat. These are the three colours that I picked. So this colour is called Scream. This is like, I've got a little bit of fluff on my nails. This is like, let me bring it a bit closer. So it's like a pinky nude sort of colour which is really really nice we've got this colour called do you copy which is like a nice grey the last one is called no angel and this is like a much lighter can you see a much lighter nude that actually matches my scrunchie um but yeah so they're the three colours that i pick okay so that is everything that you get in their gel kit which is obviously everything that you need um also they are based in new york just a little bit of background they're based in new york all of their products are vegan and cruelty free and they're also gluten free didn't even know you could do gluten free products when it comes to nails but they're gluten free products okay um but yeah so i thought that we could do our nails together as well i don't know which color to do maybe this one i think we get scream I think this will be a nice colour for today. So I'm going to go do my nails. But first I'm going to actually rinse off my face mask. Because I feel like it's really, yeah. Oh my god. It's so dried in. Dolly literally always sits right underneath me. She's so funny. You're so cute. Why don't you ever want to cuddle me anymore? You're getting so big. Oh. Okay guys. So I uh, just had a nice shower. I know like part of like a pamper evening everyone normally has like bubble baths and i do like a bubble bath but today i just weren't really fancy in a bubble bath so i did just have a shower now let's do a little bit of skincare face mask is washed off i did my loomy i feel good okay so first things first is we're gonna tone this is the toner i'm currently using my friend tilly got me this for my birthday with like some other kills products but it's a kills Cullin. Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. And this is good for normal to oily type skin. Although my skin is like normal, sometimes a little bit dry, but I mean, I'm still using it and it's still fine. I love the ponies. It just like removes that last bit of dirt and adds back in all of the oils that obviously cleansers can sort of take away because when you're cleansing your face it's removing all of the dirt which is good then we're gonna go in with some eye cream this is eye cream i'm currently using it is the kiehl's creamy <coughs> eye treatment and it's got avocado in it so it's green this is really good to be honest i really like this now it's time for some serum this is just an olay one which i actually really do like and it wasn't expensive i think it was like a fiver but i am going to treat myself to a takeaway tonight because it's friday night okay it's about as wild as my friday night 
gets. Um, and do you know what I'm fancying? I don't actually know if this is a thing anywhere else but London. Chicken and chips. I don't know, like, comment, I don't know. Do you get chicken and chips out of London? Like, this is probably a, such a stupid question because you might be able, I'm sure you must eat chicken and chips. But I don't mean, like, I mean, like, proper London chicken and chips, okay? I don't think you do, not like how London does their chicken and chips, okay? And that's what I fancy tonight. I fancy chicken and chips. It is not healthy, but I don't care tonight because it's my pamper night gonna moisturize now with the kills ultra facial cream and this has spf 30 in it um even when the sun's not out still wear your spf on your face so you're gonna just rub this all in and then i'm gonna order my takeaway because i'm starving okay skincare is done now so nails let's do my nails so before i obviously apply the base coat i just want to make sure that my nails are obviously really really What's the word? Not soft, but there's not there's nothing on my nails. So just when that means when I apply the base coat, it will go on really really nicely, and um, there'll be no lumps, and it will obviously make the nail polish, the gel polish, last that bit longer. Buffing's done. I'm now going to give them a little file just to the shape that I obviously want them. I always like a square. I know you're meant to, I know that you're meant to file like this because I haven't got time for that, okay? I really haven't. Okay, so everything is all filed, buffed, etc. Let's go and give this a go with the new nail kit that I got. Literally, when I do my nails, I genuinely do do it on my bed. Like, I never go to the table or anything. I just put some cushions here, literally, like this. And I will sit and do my nails. This is just comfortable for me. I've got my little lamp here. This is so cute. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I obviously have to plug it in. Let me untake. Untake. Let me take that off. There is also an option with Madame Glam to shop as a VIP, which means you get 50% off of the gels, like the polishes, and you also get free shipping if you live in the USA, and you also get exclusive discounts and stuff. So just bear that in mind if you obviously was looking for a gel kit and you wanted top-ups of um, different polishes, this would be a really good option for you. Okay, so I have moved to use down a little bit just so that you can see a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is plug it in switch it on oh, do you know what for a small little lamp that is very powerful that is good okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the base coat and then i'll be back and then obviously i'll put my it's actually quite warm as well which is a good sign once i've put my base coat on i'll put the nails under and then i'll be back so i'm going to do a little time lapse Okay, so I've just applied the base coat. Now I'm going to put my nails under the lamp for 60 seconds. So what you do is you there's a, there's a, so the first button when you switch it on will put your will make oh I should have probably done one hand then done that not both I'm just so used to going to the shop okay um but. You can press the setting where it will stay on for 45 seconds, which is the first button. And then if you press it again, it will stay on for 60 seconds. And then the third button will turn it off. The only thing is, I don't know if it will go off when 60 seconds are up. Or am I supposed to time it? Um, guys, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to order my takeaway. If these nails stay on for literally one week, I'll be so happy. Like, as long as I can get a week, because I feel like with normal polish, I bought loads of new normal polish, because I was like, I'm not going back to the nail shop. This was before this. And then they just literally chipped after a day, and I was like, oh, do you know what this is? Oh, it does. It goes off after 60 seconds. That is so good. Right, let's do the second hand. Look for that. Um, but yeah, they literally chipped. So hopefully, if I can get like a week out of this, I'll be really happy. Once this is done, I'm then going to apply my normal coat of the actual polish. 
and then go back under the lamp and then apply the top coat and then go back under the lamp. So I'll do a time lapse after this because this is probably really boring. <laughs> So, my opinion on the nail kit, um, the colours are absolutely gorgeous, really, really nice colours. The lamp, I don't know, but I have genuinely been trying to dry my nails for about three minutes. Colours are so lovely, so I don't know if you'd have to really persevere with it. But I am going to go and order takeaway now because I am absolutely starving. So what have we done today? We've done some skincare, we did our nails. Um, can I have a takeaway? I was gonna wash my hair, guys, but I can't be bothered to wash it. The thing is, it's not actually even greasy. So I think I'm just gonna wash it tomorrow instead because I wanna have fresh hair for Sunday. Because I am going out on Sunday. So I don't really need to wash it tonight. But I just thought I would. But I will talk you through my um free products that I use on my hair because I did get asked to do a hair care routine, but genuinely I don't have my I don't do much to my hair at all. So I thought I'd just add that in here. So I used this spray, which was the spray that I used for the face mask, um, which is the moisture mist, the new skin one, because it acts as a detangler. So I use that. This is the hair mask that I use. I've been using this for nearly one year. Best hair mask ever. It is the L'Oreal Series Expert B6 and Biotin Enforcer Hair Mask. And you can get it on Look Fantastic. That's where I get mine. This pot, it's not massive, but it genuinely lasts me for about six months. And I use it religiously. So that is the hair mask that I use. And then this is the hair oil that I use. It is the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco been using this as well for about a year this is i use it a lot and this is all i've used you genuinely i've probably put about four pumps into my hands rub it in and then just put it through the bottoms of my hair don't put it at the top because it'll make it greasy but literally they are the only three products that i use but honestly i think the reason why my hair is quite it's not in amazing condition but it's not in bad condition i don't put much heat on my hair i probably straighten my hair well i used to straighten it once a week and I don't even do that anymore. I barely straighten my hair. Only if I'm going out, which is barely ever, um, I will straighten my hair or I'll curl it or do whatever I want to do to it. But I am going to start straightening it again once a week. But I found once a week is not too bad. It doesn't really damage my hair. And then also washing your hair. You don't really wash it too much because then you're washing out all of like the natural chemi no, chemicals. The natural oils in your hair i just wash my hair on a sunday and then i'll wash it on a wednesday sometimes so i could sometimes get away with a whole week of not washing my hair which might sound disgusting to some people but my hair doesn't get greasy because it's so thick and quite wavy and coarse it doesn't get um greasy that easily which is good um so yeah i'd say that's all that i do don't really put too much heat on my hair and don't wash it too often and that is literally my hair care routine very boring um, that's why I can't make a video on it, so I thought I'd just add it in here. So, whilst I wait for my takeaway to arrive, I thought I would show you some of the book that I'm reading at the moment. It actually just started, so I'm not very far in. Um, but it's called Super Attractor, Super Attractor by Gabriel Bernstein. This book. It's supposed to be really good. It basically just says it is a manifestation book for confidently claiming your desires. You'll learn how to do less and attract more, relax and trust that what you desire is on the way know that spiritual guidance is available to you at all times and to feel a sense of awe each day as you witness miracles unfold so yeah i mean i'm not that far into it, so i can't give my full opinion but so far i'm really enjoying it so if you're looking for sort of like a book to get into law of attraction or manifesting i would highly recommend trying something like this i do love all these sort of books like the secret then i like good vibes good life all those sort of positive law of attraction and manifesting books are right up my street um so yeah i thought i'd just share with you the book that i'm currently reading and yeah i'm gonna wait for my takeaway guys my takeaway is here okay because so i'm gonna enjoy it but thought i'd show you so i've got a lovely coke let me just have a little sip Mm, okay got a nice coke and then this is not gonna be to everyone's taste but it's to my taste 
lovely huge portion of chips smothered in hot chilli sauce and a nice lamb donna wrap mm. so yeah i'm gonna go and enjoy my takeaway guys because this is my friday night treat and i'm about to indulge i'm gonna eat my takeaway and i'm gonna watch Tawi because if you don't know then <laughs> I've got a Taui obsession, Taui at Love Island. If I'm not watching Taui, I'm watching Love Island, I'm watching Love Island, I'm watching Taui. So yeah, I'm gonna go and eat my dinner, eat my takeaway, watch a bit of TV, and ooh, that Coke is making me burp. But guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is genuinely just a little bit of a chilled out night sort of vlog, spending the evening with me. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you did, and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye everyone.